I'm Ryan Fowler, we're a few days out from Rio's run. From the 1st of October, I'll be uh, taking my journey or Rio's run from Very Special Kids, which is only one of the three hospices in Australia for kids with a terminal illness. That's down in Melbourne. I'll be taking 26 days going through regional Victoria and through regional New South Wales before I'm on my final day here on the 26th of October we'll arrive at the Scots College. Um, covering a journey of over 1,027 k's, averaging about 40 k's a day. My biggest day is going to be 58 k's, but I'm doing it for Rio. I'm um, doing it for these kids uh, who have a terminal illness um, and trying to make a difference. So here we go. I'd like to thank all our major sponsors, um, obviously both the New South Wales and Victorian government, all the key people, the volunteers and also the board members. Thank you so much. Rio Fowler's last days weren't spent in a hospital bed. Hey! Rio spent 40 nights in intensive care for what was suspected as gastro, but it was later discovered that he had a rare heart condition. That he wouldn't survive. That's when they turned to Bear Cottage. It's when you find out these people what they do. It's, it's phenomenal. That's where it was like, OK, what can we do to, what can I do? He's doing something extraordinary. We're going to run from Melbourne to Sydney. It's yes. over a thousand kilometres. He's doing it to honour his little boy, but he's going to need help. What you're undertaking is just amazing. I think it's, uh, it's something that I can't get my head around to do that for that long. I'm not trying to freak you out. <laughs> we would love there to be more children's hospices in Australia and we hope one day there will be more so more Australians benefit from, from our invaluable service. And what you're doing is really helping us start that off. So congratulations and well done. Thank you. Thank you. Broken father set off from Melbourne this morning to run 900 kilometres to Sydney. If we can also then use his story um, to get awareness out there for what these great places do, um, you know, where we're willing to, to try and help out as much as we can. Ryan's run hopes to reach Sydney in 26 days. That's more than 30 kilometres a day. So here we are, day two ready to go 49k day today all for rio and these kids just going through knox in uh outskirts of melbourne support car Chatty. so far we've done about 15k so we're getting there see you soon Day two. Yeah. Day two. Remy are... making sandwiches. Ryan has just run how many k's? What do you know? How are you feeling? I'm okay. Just keep vomiting. Running. He did vomit. Going through my uh, routine here, of trying, to, but I feel oh, nothing. Ice bath. But yeah, I'm okay. It's nice. Thanks for the support. Are we going to be able to do it? Sure are. No question. No question. Day two, day three? Day three. Start of day three. Um, feeling okay. Um, I've had a bit of a head cold, so last night was my best night of sleep. Um, yeah, ready to go. Carl. Carl, our uh, trustee and uh, oh, legend yesterday, so big day today, over 50k, so hopefully we are. Uh, yeah, had a good massage last night, so the lady, essential essence, I think. She's awesome. Um, so feeling good, just, just gotta see how my diabetes and all that go, but so far going okay. Day two. I can't express how good that is. Six hours of running, my goodness. Bye. 
so worth it. Please support these kids. Rio, fearfully and wonderfully made. Yeah, baby. 58K. Epic. Oh. 7.5. Wow. Oh, I videoed that. <laughs> 300 metres ago. Fifth day. I got my bro with me this time. Good for him to finish with us. Well done, Chatty. Unfortunately, Chatty hasn't been able to finish the past couple of days, but to have him here this time is awesome. Good stuff. We've done it. Day five. Boom. Here we are. Start of day seven. We're matching today. How are you feeling, Chatty? Oh, I'm feeling good. Here for me. One down. Stiff, sore, tired. Well, if that means good, I'm brilliant. <laughs> Chatty's enjoying it. Day seven. Um, start of our last day of the first week. Um, big day today. Um, this is our second, second longest journey of the trip, so... Um, that's why we're trying to get out of the way nice and early. Um, brisk start to the morning, as you can see. Absolutely no one in Kui. Well, yeah. Super right there. I just, <laughs> there's two ladies, there's two ladies walking, so I've got that wrong. Anyway. It's my support team in front, Dan. Carla back. Absolute legend. Couldn't have done it without them. My brother Chatty. How's all the kids that we're doing it for? Big day today. Week one. Brio's run. Almost done. Ah, Just running with little ass Wangarada. Woohoo! Finishing 50. 455 Ks. Woohoo! High five to Ryan Fowler. High five him. High five, Ren. Well High five, Daddy. Oh. Here's the last one. <laughs> Woohoo! Yay! Running on Beechworth Wangaratta Road, Ryan Fowler is doing it for his beloved son. And I thought the physical toll that they go through, but they still choose to smile and engage in life. I saw my little boy relax and I was able to hold him in my arms and just feel that he was comfortable and I knew that his last days were going to be peaceful. The support has been abundant from both sides of the border. I've just been blown away by the rural support either side. Ryan and his team will cross the border tomorrow, reaching somewhat of a milestone when they arrive in New South Wales, although they still have nearly 700 kilometres to go until they reach the finish line on October 26th. So here we are running into the Aubrey. I got the clan with us. Amazing. Let's go. We're back in. Great to have these guys support for Rio and his legacy. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> Thinking of you, mate. I heard you almost in Wagga. Really proud of you from all of our group. Yeah. Go Ryan! So here we are, day 12, coming into Wagga, and I got a group running with me. Yeah! Scott's boys to the fore. This actually marks halfway distance wise on the way to Sydney, so everyone's doing a great job coming into Wagga, it's a big one today but the boys are doing a great job here yeah. So here we are on uh, day 13 of Rio's run from Melbourne to Sydney um, I've got my brother here with me Thanks. and uh, just thought I'd do a little bit of a video where um, 
halfway between Wagga and Wanaberry. But also today, today being the 13th, is um, actual World Children's Hospice uh, Palliative Care Day. And um, it's actually quite a, a privilege and an honour to be doing this run on this day. I wanted to uh, give a shout out to the hospices that we have here in Australia at the moment. Um, obviously we've got the Hummingbird House, which is up in Queensland. Um, very special kids, which is a great one, obviously down in Melbourne and Bear Cottage um, in, in Sydney, in New South Wales. These places are amazing. Um, this is the reason why we're doing this in honour of them, trying to raise awareness and see if we can get more of these places around the country. Um, so a big, big thank you to them. They do a tremendous effort. They do a tremendous uh, lot of work um, for the kids who have their terminal illness, but also for our families and everyone else. So thank you. It is World Hospice Day, oh sorry, World Palliative Care Day for kids. Um, and we are honored to be doing this. Here we are. Day 16, coming into Bookham. What a day. <laughs> 16 days, boom. Here we go. Feeling pretty pumped today. That's awesome. 10 days to go. Yeehaw, here we go. Come on. That's my boy, Ria. Come on, that's him. All from the heart, mate, all from the heart. Let's go, kids, all the way. Day 16, fifthly. Done. Out. Here we are at Rio's run, day 19 of 26. We have one week to go. It has just been an incredible journey. We have met some amazing families uh, with personal stories of loss, um, of love and richness in life. And we are just humbled and encouraged more than ever to get this run done and um, money raised to be able to give families the opportunity to love their children while they have them to the max. Uh, Ryan is sore, Chad is sore, everyone is tired, um, but you guys have supported and rallied and the rural communities have been amazing. Uh, we can't wait to be home. Um, $29,000 raised so far, not sh too far short of what our goal was. Uh, day 20 coming into Goulburn. I've got the Zilstras with us. Lucky to have them with us. Great support. He's in good form. Chatty's there. Single days to go. <laughs> Looking like a champ. Great to have the Look support. On the road. <laughs> so we're just running into Goulburn. Yeah, uh, bit of an overcast today, but 20 days down, six to go. Looking forward to see you soon, but great to have these guys here supporting us. Well, we only just joined the run today, the Scots, Scots boys and Kens. I got the, uh, the call last night, so just, just kicked off, just started with Ryan this morning. I'm the lead driver, uh, Daniel, Ryan's cousin. Yeah. Uh, it's been a pretty hectic 22 days, now 23. Um, on the home stretch now. It's uh, on one hand, I can count how many days you got left, so pretty excited to get there and um, see what we can do for these charities. I'm Ryan's brother, so I'm part of the support crew, but specifically I'm out here just sharing the load with him in terms of the pain that he's going through, I'm feeling as well, so I can share that with him um, and hopefully I'm provide him some motivation and support along the way. Doing this uh, to support Ryan and to support Rio's legacy, so no, I couldn't, couldn't uh, be anywhere else. Uh, we've still got a way to go, but we really have broken the back of it at the moment, which is a nice feeling. Well, it's really past halfway, and we've got a little sense that Sydney's just around the corner. So uh, spirits are up. Uh, physically, we're we're flat, but the spirits are definitely up. Um, and Ryan's doing a great job. So if I can just be part of that with him and just uh, provide the support. Yeah, thanks to Scots College as well and to everyone else who supported us. It's been a fantastic journey. Uh, got a way to go yet, so I feel we're going to get there. So I'm going to head off. So here we are, 
Day 21, just about to come into Wingelo after a 42k or 41k day. Pretty awesome surprise today. I got these boys. Woo! Robbie, Toddy, Whew. Whitey, Tenders over there. Chatty's with us. Yes, yes Chatty. Yeah. These boys did the last 20Ks with us, which was amazing. To see them on the highway really lifted my spirit. So, uh, boys, we can't be happier to have you guys here finishing this with us on this day. Got a K to go, and then we're there. Woo! Boys are going to have a beer, I think. <laughs> Anything to say, boys? Mate, this is, this is epic. This is epic. <laughs> epic. These two boys, what they're doing is unbelievable. 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 Let's go, boys. Finish the last car. Right, let's yeah. go. How See good. you. We're out. You're walking away. Let's go. How you going? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you still going? <laughs> Here we are, day 24, no, 25. 25. The morning of day 25, our last big run into Petersham. Cars are all ready to go. Chatty's good to go. Yep. Big day today, we're running with uh, Pat Farmer, which is pretty cool. So we'll okay. get some videos of him. Um, he's an absolute legend. Yeah. Um, pole to pole, Australian of the year. You know, so it's an absolute honor to be running with this guy. Um, and sharing the journey of Rio's legacy. So far, we've raised over 33,500, so yeah, looking forward to a good day, big day. Boys? It's going to be a great day. Where are great the boys? Day. Penultimate day. The penultimate day, gentlemen. This is Huge it. Effort. Get through this one, and we're almost there. Almost there, so we're all strapped up, ready to leave Leppington. It's the first time I've been to Leppington. Mm, now, second time for me. Yeah. Scott's to the four. No, not Scott's to the four. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Here we are, day 25, coming into Petersham. I got the legend Pat Farmer with us, finishing this day off. This is our biggest run. Tomorrow's a shorter run, but it's great to have him here, supporting Rio's legacy, and uh, we're now cracking up around 34,000, so it's amazing. Pat, thank you. Uh, absolute pleasure, mate. It's incredible what you're doing, not only for Rio, but for all the children throughout Australia and by building more facilities like Bear College, Bear Cottage, uh, you know, you'll be able to make life a hell of a lot more bearable for so many families. So the pain that you're going through at the moment is directly related to supporting those people. So that's why you have the admiration of all the other runners out there and all Australians, mate. It's a pleasure to be with you. Just cracked a thousand Ks. Uh -huh. 1,000 Ks for my boy. <laughs> That's so emotional. I love you, Rio. I love everyone. That's so good. 1,000 yeah. Ks. Uh, to be there today when he finished, it uh, was one of the most amazing moments of my life. Just to see just humanity at its best. Good on your former New South Wales Premier Mike Baird is a big supporter of Baird Cottage. And he tipped us off about Ryan Fowler. And he's finished it. And he's done it in honour of his 17-month-old Rio, who never made it out of hospital. Well, Ryan, welcome back to... Welcome home. <laughs> Can you in any way express your feelings, your emotions? Um, uh, probably no, uh, but um, oh, it's just amazing to, uh, to, to come down Victoria Road and 
see Scots College, which was uh, Rio's home, um, and to, to see the whole school here, um, it's, it's, it's unbelievable, it really is. Rio's dad, Ryan, has just completed a run from Melbourne to Sydney, raising funds and awareness along the way. It is fantastic to speak to these guys again. Rio's parents, Ryan and Karen Fowler. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey, guys. Ryan, you just finished the run two weeks ago. How long did it take you? Uh, so it was 26 days all up, um, averaging about, so if we put it out, it's about 41 k's a day. So I ended up travelling 1,013 k's from very special kids, which is a hospice in uh, in Melbourne, and finishing at the Scots College um, here in Sydney. Huge wow. effort, mate. Well done. Karen, you were there every step of the way. It was yep. obviously emotional for both of you. Talk us through it. Yeah, it was emotional. We had a fantastic team. We had uh, six adults and my daughter, our daughter Remy, with us. Um, so we had uh, drivers at either end and Ryan and his brother Chad running. Um, the guys were phenomenal. Well, they actually, yeah, really put their heart and soul into it running. but. Watching Ryan struggle, um, in particular days when he was fatigued and things like that, it was very draining and a little bit triggering with what we've been through with Rio. I was like, you know, he's battled, do you have to battle as well? But, you know, but he got there and I think, I knew Pat Farmer, I think, said to us, Ryan's heart will get him over the line. And mm -hmm. there was no time I said, he's not going to make it. They were like, he's hurting today. And I said, I know, but I'm not going to tell him not to do it. He's going to get there. I can't thank everyone enough for being here and, uh, and supporting us in our journey. Um, and to see Bear Cottage up there, um, you know, that's that's where where Rio's legacy started from. You know, they're they're inspirational. Those people um, and the families that they go they go to those places, the parents. Um, yeah, that's that's why we're here, trying to champion them. The amount of boys. And parents who came out along the way, um, truly fantastic. All the comments, you know, all the good ones, you know, and saying keep going, you're and things like that. It's just amazing, you know. Um, and and my, my wife and my beautiful daughter here, who are uh, trying to do this, you know, come up with these ideas of doing a big run. Like, it's not easy on them, but um, I love them dearly, and, uh, and I thank them for allowing us to do this. Um, and then obviously my boy, yeah, Lil Rio, he's, uh, he's a champion. <laughs>